The following two equations form a linear system, all right? This is one equation, it has x and y, so it's going to define a line. And then I have another equation that involves x and y, so it's going to define another line. It says graph the system of equations and find its solution. So we're going to try to find it visually. So let's graph this first one. And to graph this line, I have the little graphing tool here. Notice I can if I can figure out two points, I can move those points around and it's going to define our line for us. So let's pick I'm going to pick two x values and figure out the corresponding y values and then uh, graph the line. So let's, let's see how I could do this. So let's see, an easy one is what happens when x is equal to 0? Well, if x is equal to 0, everything I just shaded goes away, and we're left with negative 3y is equal to 9. So negative 3y equals 9, y would be negative 3. So when x is equal to 0, y would be negative 3. So let me graph that. When x is equal to 0, y, x is 0, y is negative 3. Now another easy point, actually, instead of trying another x value, let's think about when y is equal to 0. Because this is these equations are written in standard form, so it's easy to just test. Well, what, what are the x and y intercepts? So when y is equal to 0, when y is equal to 0, this term goes away, and you have negative x is equal to 9. Or x would be equal to negative 9. So when y is 0, x is negative 9. So when y is 0, x is negative 9. Or when x is negative 9, y is 0. So I've just plotted, I've just plotted this first equation. So now let's do the second one. We'll do the same thing. What happens when x is equal to 0? When x is equal to 0, so this is going to be, this is going to be our y-intercept now. When x is equal to 0, negative 6y is equal to negative 6. Well, y would have to be equal to 1. So when x is 0, y is equal to 1. So when x is 0, x is 0, y is equal to 1. Get one more point here. When y is 0, when this term is 0, y being 0 would make this entire term 0, then 6x is equal to negative 6, or x is equal to negative 1. So when y is 0, x is negative 1, or when x is negative 1, y is 0. When x is negative 1, y is 0. And so just like that, I've plotted the two lines. And the solution to the system is the, are the x and y values that satisfy both equations. And if they satisfy both equations, that means they sit on both lines. And so in order to be on both lines, they're going to be at the point of intersection. And I see this point of intersection right over here. It looks pretty clear that this is the point x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 2. So it's the point negative 3 comma negative 2. So let me write that down. Negative 3 comma negative 2. And then I could... I could check my answer, got it right. Let's do another, let's do another one of these, maybe of a of a different type. So over here it says a system of two linear equations is graphed below. Approximate the solution of the system. All right, so here I just have to just look at this carefully and think about where this point is. So let's think about first its x value. So its x value, let's see, it's about right there in terms of its x value. It looks like so this is negative one, negative this is negative 2, so negative 1.5 is going to be right over here. It's a little bit to the left of negative 1.5, so it's even more negative. I would say negative 1.6. So when I'm approximating it, negative 1.6, hopefully it has a little leeway in how it, er how it checks the answer. What about the y value? So if I look at the y value here, it looks like it's a little less than 1.5. One and a half would be halfway between one and two. It looks like it's a little less than halfway between one and two. So I don't know, I'd give it 1.4, positive 1.4. And let's, let's check the answer, see, see how we're doing. Yep, we, we got it right. Let's, do, let's actually just do one more for, for good measure. So this is another system. We've, they've just written the, the equations in more of our slope-intercept form. So let's see, y is equal to negative 7x plus 3. When x is equal to 0, we have our y-intercept. y is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. And then we see that our slope is negative 7. When you increase x by 1, you decrease y by 7. So when you increase x by 1, you decrease y by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 
When x goes from 0 to 1, y went from 3 to negative 4. It went down by 7. So that's that first one. Now the second one, our y-intercept, when x is equal to 0, y is negative 3. So let me graph that. When x is 0, y is equal to negative 3. And then its slope is negative 1. When x increases by 1, y decreases by 1. So the slope here is negative 1. So when x increases by 1, y decreases by 1. And there you have it. You have your point of inter intersection. You have the x, y pair that satisfies both equations. That is the point of intersection. It's going to sit on both lines, which is why it's the point of intersection. And that's the point x equals 1, y is equal to negative 4. So you have x equals 1, and y is equal to negative 4. And I can check my answer, and we got it right.